Have you ever wondered if it was okay to have sex during pregnancy? Would it affect the baby? Did you or did you not have sex while you were pregnant? Hey guys, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Omo Bolaji and I love to create content about God, lifestyle, gratitude and every other thing that tickles my fancy. And yeah, this is one of them. <laughs> Okay, so in today's video, we'll be talking about doing the do in pregnancy. <laughs> you heard me right. Yeah, yeah. So we're learning about seven things about doing the do in pregnancy in no particular order. Number one, is it okay to do the do in pregnancy? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, in every language. It is absolutely fine for you to have sex in pregnancy if you want to as long as there are no complications with the pregnancy as long as you've not been advised by a medical practitioner not to and as long as you are happy to do it you feel okay you feel up to it why not please go ahead <laughs> number two will doing the do make me to have another pregnancy no once you've taken in once you have a pregnancy it's not going to make you have another pregnancy on top of that pregnancy <laughs> once the pregnancy is established the body has a way of producing mucus a cervical mucus plug that blocks the cervix and makes it impossible for sperm to go all the way up to fertilize any egg plus once you're pregnant the body recognizes that oh this is pregnancy now and your body stop releasing eggs so there is no egg to even be fertilized in the first place as long as pregnancy is established so if you're worried that doing the do in pregnancy would make you have another pregnancy no please erase that do the do if you want to do the do number three and the libido the sex drive varies throughout the pregnancy and that's why i said as long as you feel up to it then go for it because i mean you really don't want to deprive your partner all for nine months because you don't want to do the do <laughs> So if you do feel up to it, then please go ahead. So even if penetrative sex is not appealing to you, you can consider other forms just to keep it thin. Number four, also in doing the do in pregnancy, you would also want to consider different sex positions as your bump increases. Um, in first trimester, you might still do missionary if you want, if it's something you both love to do. Or position you both love and um, but as the pregnancy advances you would want to consider positions that make you lie in your back for a long period of time and um so missionary may be a no-no at that point in time so you want to explore different sex positions to keep it going so that you can do the do is um browse different positions and see what works for you but basically just avoid positions that would make you lie on your back especially in your second and third trimester basically because the weight of the baby is lying on would be on a particular a very important um blood vessel that you don't want the weight of the baby to compress as that could stop the flow of blood to the baby so basically you could explore other positions but just avoid lying on your back while you do the do in pregnancy number five loop is your friend when you're doing the do in pregnancy so just like libido varies throughout pregnancy due to the hormones hormonal fluctuations here and there and then your body is putting in so much to make sure your baby keeps growing so because of that you may not get as wet as you used to get during um before pregnancy while trying to do the do in pregnancy but don't feel um bad about that consider loop loop is your friend use loop use loop use loop use loop use loop just to keep things going number six benefits of doing the do why should i do the do in pregnancy eh number one it helps the bond between you two so why not <laughs> and then number two of course it also, aside helping the bond, it also helps to pro produce um, the love hormone, 
oxytocin which of course keeps things steamy between you two and it also helps to um some people report that in your third trimester when you do they do quite frequently it helps to initiate labor which is actually a good thing so you might want to consider doing the do for if not for every other reason those two reasons are major enough for one to consider doing the do in pregnancy next thing is Will doing the do affect the baby? No. Doing the do is not going to affect the baby. <laughs> the baby is well cushioned and is safe where it is. Sometimes the partners are usually not very comfortable because they feel like doing the do might affect the baby and they would rather stay away and not do it. And um, it's actually in your position to encourage them and let them know that it's actually not affecting the baby baby is absolutely fine where he is and sometimes you'll see that in the course of doing the do sometimes it could trigger baby movements which is absolutely fine and there could be slight contractions following doing the do but it's absolutely fine but and that's basically because i mean you are knocking on the door to where baby is so what do you expect and also due to the all um modalities and technicalities of doing the do oxytocin is released the love hormone is released oxytocin often helps to trigger contractions and when that happens it's a normal cycle so it's really no cause to worry but if for any reason you think that okay this is going out of hand this does not seem normal trust your intuition trust your instincts and seek help when you need to because any little delay in pregnancy could affect a lot of things do not for any reason take any signs or any gut feeling for granted i trust that god is going to continue to help you even as you continue to carry this pregnancy and this baby that you have in your belly you carry in your hands in the name of jesus amen and finally bonus point you can have sex up until labor you can have sex as long as you are okay with it nothing is stopping you bonus points after baby arrives can i still do the do yes why not <laughs> but please before you do the do after baby arrives you should at least number one wait until the bleeding stops and number two if you can wait until your six weeks check it's going to be absolutely great but if you think you can't it's still fine but just ensure that you get the contraceptive in place. A contraceptive could be something as little as a condom. You don't want to have another baby as soon as your baby is out. This is because you need to give room for your body to heal. Breastfeeding is not a contraceptive method. Breastfeeding will not stop pregnancy. You are very fertile after you've had your baby. You don't want to take any risks whatsoever. So even if you are exclusively breastfeeding, still use a condom as a backup while you think of the contraceptive method you want to use. Panty liner is also not a contraceptive. You don't want to use panty liner. No. I, I read or I once read of someone that was using a panty liner. It was marketed to her that the panty liner would help to prevent pregnancy. And months down the line, her baby was still maybe under six months or thereabouts. And then she had another pregnancy. She was wondering how did she get pregnant. But this panty liner, panty liner is not a contraceptive. Eh? Please, let us not be gullible. So yeah, while waiting for the six weeks, or uh, while waiting for the bleeding to resolve, you might want to consider other ways, just like we've mentioned earlier, explore other ways that are void of penetration so that would also keep things going between you two um it's a whole concept a big concept but i just wanted to chip this in i hope you enjoyed this video i really hope you did if you're new to the channel i hope you enjoyed this video please do well to like and subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber you guys are the real mvps thank you so 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 much it's good to have you on here again um so you see me again in my next video i mean your darling i'm up bj Remain in God and God bless you. Bye.